Hey, welcome back to Drowning in Yarn. Today, I just have a super quick tutorial for you to show you how to do a make one right and a make one left. And also I wanted to show you just a quick trick to make sure that you never forget which one you're making or how to make either of them. So if you're interested, stick around. So I'm gonna show you how to make both a make one right and a make one left. Oftentimes your pattern will say, make a make one right or do a make one left. If it just says make one, then just choose one that you prefer doing and just use it consistently. That just means your designer doesn't care. But if it says make one right or make one left, this is how I remember. I always grab this bar of yarn because that's where the make ones are made, are in this top bar of yarn that runs between the needles on your right and your left hand needle. So I grab it and I place it on this left hand needle and I look at what direction this yarn points and that's what tells me which one it's gonna be. So if that yarn in front of my needle points off to the left, that's a make one left. If the yarn that's in front of the needle points off to the right, so you can see it starts here and it goes off to the right, that's a make one right. Either one, if you just knit into it, you will make this giant gap and you do not want that. So you want to twist it. So let's start here. I have it as a make one left. And I know that because the yarn in front of the needle is pointing off to the left. So in order to not cause that gap, I need to knit into the back loop. Now it's hard to get in there. So what I do is just put my needle in however I can easily get it in and I just run it around. So now I'm in that bit of yarn in the back. The one in the front still pointing off to the left, see? And I just knit into that back loop. Now you can see it's pointing off to the left there. So let's do uh, make one right. So I just plop it on. So like, let's plop it on wrong. Points off to the left, I know that's not right. So now just switch it around. Now that yarn points off to the right. The yarn in front of my needle went off to the right. So in order to do this, I need to knit into the front here and that's gonna be really hard. So what I do is just create myself a little bit of space. I do the same thing. I put my needle in wherever it's easiest and run it around the other needle. And then I just pull and I use this thumb to hold it. And now I have this big loop I can work with and I knit into the front. You can see that twists that stitch, which closes that gap. That's literally all you do. And let's do another make one left just to look at it. So points off to the left. So I just want to knit into that back loop. There you go. So let's do a make one right. Knit into that front. So that's gonna twist my stitch. Let's take a look at those. Here's a column of stitches and here's a column of stitches. And in between those two columns, this stitch disappears. And you can see that this bit of yarn in front points off to the right. That's the directional make one right increase. And over here, column of stitches, column of stitches, new stitch appears. And the bit of yarn in the front points off to the left. That's a directional make one left increase. That's all you do. Just pay attention to the bit of yarn in front of your needle and twist that stitch. And that's it. It's literally that easy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your knitting and I will see you later.